This is the Wise Crick and Warframe, and today, day and night, yin and yang, it is the Equinox. And where do you get this beautiful Warframe? You go to Uranus, and you go to the boss battle on Titania, and there you will fight this bastard, Talregger. And you have to fight him for all eight parts. That's right, there are eight parts. So, the first build. It's a build for the night form of this Equinox. And as you can see on the left hand side, there is not a lot of duration. We got some strength and some efficiency, but most of all, a lot of range. And in a minute, you'll see why. But as you can see, rage is installed for every time I get hurt, I get my energy. And that's why I also have a vitality mod installed. And overextended and stretch for the extra range. Efficiency and Prime Flow is there for the ultimate ability so that I can use it for as long as I want. The first ability is called Metamorphosis and you use it whenever you want to switch your form from night to day. But because this is the night form you get 17 seconds of armor and shield bonus whenever you use this ability. And these bonuses are affected by power strength. The second ability is called rest and it puts your enemies to sleep. And whenever you put your enemy to sleep, like you can see here, you can finish them off with a beautiful finisher. There you go. And here's another example, only this time we are not gonna hurt him. We're just gonna see how long he will stay there asleep. And as you can see, his health is going slowly down and he is almost at the half of his health. And look at it, he only has a quarter left of, the, of his health and he woke up. But just put him back to sleep and then kill him. There we go. The third ability of the night form is called Pacify, where the Equinox emits an aura that will reduce the damage of her enemies. The more power strength, the more damage will be reduced, and the more power efficiency, the longer this ability will active. Here the ability is active and you can see that the damage is reduced but the moment the ability is inactive and there we go I'm dead and the ultimate ability of the night form is called mend where you will heal your allies this happens by killing as much enemies as possible and absorbing as much damage as possible as you can see there on the top right and when you deactivate mend all stored damage will be converted into health and distributed to yourself and your allies. Health conversion is affected by power strength and the range of the aura that absorbs the damage of your enemies is affected by power range. And when you kill four, for instance, when the man is active, you can see that by killing Captain Four, you store a whole lot of damage. And by deactivating your mend ability, your teammates will get the health back.
And now it's time for the day form, ladies and gentlemen. And on the left hand side, you can see that it has even less duration, the same amount of efficiency, and a little bit more strength, but the same amount of range. Also, there is Rage, of course, and the Vitality mod, as always. And the rest, you can see for yourself. The big difference between night and day is that night is used to help your allies and to defend objectives. The day form is used to kill as much bitches as possible. So, without further ado, let's check out the first ability, which is Metamorphosis as the first one. Only this time, you get a speed bonus and a damage multiplier instead of a armor and shield bonus. The damage and speed is affected by power strength. When the day form uses its second ability called Rage, his enemies will become more vulnerable to damage and your enemies get a slight speed bonus. And again, damage vulnerability is affected by power strength. The third ability is called Provoke, where the Equinox and his allies get a boost to power strength. This is an ability that will stay active and you can deactivate it whenever you want. But while it is active, it will drain your energy. And the ultimate ability of the day form is called Maim. This is where the Equinox emits an aura that will deal slash damage with a 100% of bleed and stun chance. This will leave your enemies open for a finisher attack. And also with this ability you will absorb the damage and when you deactivate Maim all stored damage is dealt as slash damage to all enemies in range. So basically with enough energy and power efficiency you can keep this ability active for as long as possible giving you time to kill your enemies while they are stunned and do not know what is going on. So my tip is keep the third and fourth ability active always and just get slashing ladies and gentlemen just slash them to bits and, and as you can see in my footage I did a tower 3 survival mission for an hour and it went pretty easily so there you go ladies and gentlemen the day form is a beast ready for action
but ladies and gentlemen this is not a warframe that is day or night no it is day and night so i made this little configuration that is a combo of both night and day's configuration so you can choose use both abilities at any time or maybe use one for one mission and the other for another mission it is all your choice so i hope i informed you a little bit and i hope you enjoy this video and check me out on all my other videos like and subscribe and i'll see you when i see you adios what the hell are these guys doing hello an enemy is standing behind you look out hello acknowledge me ah there we go and die thank you let's go so another part you know what let's fast forward a little bit so another part here and we got another part right over here you know what we got another part right over here and guess what you never you will never guess this i got another part there we go